the American people put presidential politics on the back burner as the nation copes with the coronavirus outbreak. Joe Biden tried to reinsert himself back into the national conversation but got hit with some bad news. And that's because Biden suffered one coronavirus catastrophe that you won't believe. The 2020 presidential election is essentially on hold. Americans are far more concerned about the public health issues the country is facing and minimizing the economic devastation they will inflict on the country. Joe Biden has found himself the forgotten man of 2020 as President Trump's handling of the coronavirus outbreak has become the issue on which the presidential election will swing. Biden disappeared for over a week as the president held daily press conferences explaining to the American people how his administration was helping the states manage this pandemic, which includes providing emergency funding, medical supplies, and support from the Army Corps of Engineers. Democrats panicked as polls showed the public approved of the president's handling of the outbreak and demanded Biden stage some political stunts to force his way back into the national conversation. That ended in disaster when Biden's campaign tried to set up a virtual briefing where the former vice president would live stream remarks on how he would navigate this crisis. Few Americans turned in, where at one point the audience was in the hundreds. But the calamity continued when at one point Biden began motioning frantically to his team because the teleprompter malfunctioned beef up the number of responders dealing with the crush, these crush of cases. And, uh, and in addition to that, uh, in addition to that, we have to uh, make sure that we, uh, we are in a position that we are, well, let me, let me go to the second thing. I've spoken enough on that. The president must use the Defense Production Act. Biden's ploy backfired because it showed just what a diminished figure a challenger is to an incumbent president. President Trump commands the stage and makes life-and-death decisions. Biden stood in front of an iPhone and offered a rehash of things the president is already doing while offering up criticism that made it seem like Biden was a peanut gallery heckler trying to undermine the president's recovery efforts. If you are sick and tired of all the fake news from the so-called mainstream media and want real news that you can trust, please hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel.